Hello, everybody. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you. A lot of snow has fallen. If you're traveling or know someone who's traveling, tag them in this message so that they are aware of where things are really rough and tumble. This storm system continuing to dump heavy snow. I have a snowfall graphic you can see as well, along with a video on that. But now we're going to get started right away with that radar and a road report. Let's go. Roy, are going to start with those roads in North Dakota. Here's what we have going on across our area. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that there's no purple counties. Purple roads means, yes, we have snowy travel conditions. However, all travel alerts in North Dakota are as of noon uh lifted so we're in pretty good shape here but slow it down and arrive safe but things are really snowy out to the west to show you what things are looking at there with nearly one foot of snow reported in that dickinson zone the roads they look passable for sure thanks to our dedicated dot crews out there but no you'll run into some deep snow south central parts of north dakota where you see the yellow here by the way picking up significant snow hazelton moffett braddock area as we take a look at your roads as well uh things are reported to be icy in that zone now taking a quick look from my friends at ok tire sponsoring hutch's road report remember you can get this information hutchesweather.com anytime anywhere the i-29 corridor right now getting hit pretty hard the storm has exited parts of north central and central uh south dakota at this particular time but a quick view of the road conditions showing that we definitely have tricky travel you get down here near sioux falls and that i-90 corridor and that's where things have been the wintriest and remain so and the snow will continue Continue in these areas for the better part of the day as you go through. So difficult travel conditions there. Southern Minnesota all the way to west central Minnesota seeing impacts where you see the pink roads completely covered, blue roads partially covered by snow. As we peruse this particular map, what we will notice is that some of that snow down in the south central part of the state on I-90 really hitting hard. So going to the southwest corner, not far from Sioux Falls, we'll go about halfway out here as we get in towards the Blue Earth area and check it out. Completely covered road surface there. And that is on I-90. So very icy roads south of the Twin Cities. Now this storm really blossoming in parts of Iowa. So as you go to the I-35 corridor, south of Minneapolis, you can see there that that road surface is also quite tricky. Uh, visibility reduced, but not zero, and that's the good thing. Things are really humping in Iowa right now with very heavy snow, and the road conditions there are extremely bad. The heaviest band of snow, as you can see on the snow video right up here, happened basically in areas just north of the Des Moines region. So as you take a look, much of Iowa hit by at least six inches of snow. Other areas, some areas got less than that, but a heavy band setting up here just north of Iowa. So as we take a look and take you on I-35 uh, here near the uh, area just north of Des Moines, let's go ahead and see what this shows for the latest on the uh, video here. Here it goes. So now as this system loads the uh, latest video, this is live from the state of Iowa's DOT page here. Uh, basically, we're talking about some pretty significant, it looks like this is offline. So my apologies for that. Let's get in closer to Des Moines here and see if that uh, camera is going to work for us here and click and it's loading. All right. Give it one moment here. While we're talking, Iowa is really in terrible shape. So even flights could be very impacted in places like Des Moines. This is very close to Des Moines. Coded roads there, as you go north of there, the heavier band does exist. We'll get to that radar in a second, but some other areas under the influence of this uh, particular storm here, uh, basically uh, Wisconsin, all the way out to Michigan, that's where the storm is a heading. Let's get to the latest on the radar for that right now. Here we go with more national view so you can see where this storm is impacting on that radar update right now. And look at all the snow icons from western South Dakota through the I-29 corridor all the way to Kansas City. Now, showers and thunderstorms are plenty rolling their way through Arkansas. Wet weather there. It becomes icy near St. Louis. Here's the report there. Two and a half inches of snow. And now we've got some potential for some icing. This is in that area near the uh, the Chalfin Bridge. And as you take a look up near Columbia, snowfall Reports up in that area, six and a half inches. So not insignificant snow in and around St. Louis right now. 4.5 inches measured and the heavy band is right in their kitchen. That's moving out towards areas of central and southern Illinois now. So that's a very heavy band that is set up shop there with the low pressure center. Look at Des Moines still picking up snow. And this report happened here at 11 a.m. on Saturday, 3.8 inches in Des Moines. North of town was a little bit higher. We do have some reports up in that area of 8.2 to 
12 inches of snow with this snow continuing to dump there. It's taking a path that will take some of these heavier bands close to Chicago, pardon me, and point south towards Peoria and Springfield and Kokomo up there in northern Indiana, Indiana rather, north of Indianapolis. So that's where this storm is ahead and right now. In our area, we had some significant snowfall reports and you can see more on that. So that's your radar and roads review. Remember, you can get the very latest. Head over to HutchesWeather.com and I want to show you where you can get to these pages. Number one, if you're looking for snowfall reports, what's fallen where? As they come in, the National Weather Service keeps track of your reports and plots them on a map here that we get a link to on Hutch's Weather. You can also see the latest road conditions right here, radar, and my latest videos on Hutch'sWeather.com. Road conditions brought to you by OK Tire. I got to tell you what, any state or province in our region in the upper Midwest, all the way down to Nebraska and Iowa are covered here so you can get that information you need along with your forecasts. And again, it's Hutch'sWeather.com. You can upload your photos or videos of weather and nature as well on this site to share what you're experiencing with others. Thanks for your trust. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. This has been a Hutch's weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching Hutch's